It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. GameStop dropped and the global stock markets popped as the Reddit Raiders gambit to corner the market in the stock GameStop collapsed this week when the stock plummeted from $325 a share down into double digits. Now, the market erased all the previous week's losses. Losses that came as large hedge funds faced a short squeeze and a major bout of deleveraging pressure caused by a surge in volume from these small retail investors, the investors I call the Reddit Raiders, forcing the hedge fund investors to close out short positions at much higher prices and sell other stocks in their portfolio in order to meet margin calls. It's no different than the scene in the 1980s hit movie, Trading Places, where the Duke brothers had to liquidate everything as a result of a failed attempt to corner the market in concentrated orange juice futures. Now, while last week's sell-off was sharp, as I noted in my commentary, I expected the effect on the broader market to be short-lived and basically a non-event for us, the long-term investor. After all, investing is more of a marathon than a sprint. As sentiment exhales, we expect the primary trend in the market to be driven by what really matters, improving fundamentals for economic growth and the mother's milk of stock prices, corporate earnings. The economy is still in the early stages of a cyclical recovery, driven by a vaccine-led reopening of the global economy, as well as substantial monetary and fiscal policy tailwinds from central banks and governments across the globe. Now, U.S. money growth is literally off the charts with M2 money supply now up 27%. That's the fastest growth in 40 years. All this stimulus has driven the economy from a pandemic-induced profit recession in 2020 to a booming acceleration of the profit cycle for 2021 and beyond. Earnings could be up a whopping 60 to 70% by year end. Now's the time for investment portfolio diversification, both across asset classes and within asset classes, both here and abroad. Remember, time passes and markets operate. So don't just stand there, diversify. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio built for the coming profit cycle? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? My son, Ryan, and I have 65 years combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. All you have to do to take advantage is simply text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.